Hi FlossTube, my name is Kristen and this is my channel Cow Stitcher. I am very happy to be back. It's been about two months since my last video and I have a ton of stuff to show you today. Um, quick life update, um, we had a great Christmas. I hope you guys did too. Um, for, on Christmas Eve, my best friend came over with her children. Um, she recently lost her husband to cancer and so we invited them over for just like a Christmas Eve brunch and it was really nice. We just did a bunch of appetizers and played lots of games. It was so much fun. And, uh, and then Christmas Day I had my whole family here, my sisters, my mom, my aunt, and my stepdad. And so that was really, really nice having everyone here. And I was exhausted when everyone left <laughs> from cleaning and everything like that. Um, but um, my kids had a really great, great Christmas. It's been really nice here in Virginia. They've been outside every day. It's been nice and warm. It's been crazy, but I'll take it for January. So, um, and yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. We've, we've uh, just been really busy with sports. My two, I'm coaching my two oldest children's basketball teams. So we've had basketball like five times a week, six times a week sometimes. And uh, it's been really busy. And I've been working every day, substitute teaching. I am going to be taking a position as a long-term sub for PE for the middle school, and I'm very excited. So I'll be doing that for the rest of the year probably. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. And uh, let's get into some stitching. So I recently switched out my hutch for like winter slash Valentine's Day. Um, so, but I have a lot of Christmas finishes that I'll be showing you because I was stitching, I'm still stitching a lot of Christmas right now, but I was stitching a lot of Christmas for the last couple of months. So I'm going to show you some previous finishes. Um, this is, a, I did a couple of stitching with the housewives, like their gingerbread men stuff. So this is one, I don't remember what they're called, um, but I did it on a block from Michael's and this is stitched on 28 count black Joblin with all the called for floss. And then I just did a little bow with the covered button and the gingerbread man. So this, this sits on my tiered tray. So there's that one. And then this is another one. Same, same finish on a block. I did these last year. Just thought I would show those before I put them away. And then this one. Super cute. And then this year, uh, just recently, I finished this one. So this one is a new finish. And I finished it the same way so I can put it on my tiered tray. So another block from Michaels. And I don't remember what this is called, but it's really cute. I love it. And then another previous finish. This is called Chelsea's Chicken. This is a freebie by Stitching with the Housewives and you can find it on Priscilla's blog. I stitched this maybe two years ago and um, I used all the call for floss and I mounted it on sticky board. I put Priscilla's Pretty Plaids in the blue on the back on sticky board. And then I just made this, this bow with the ribbon and put this little snowflake in the middle. And the snowflake is from the small ornament section at Walmart. And then this is a tray from Michaels, just a, it was like 70% off or something when I bought it. So that's just a really cute little finish there. And then, okay. So for my, those are all my previous finishes. Now for my finishes. So I finished my December, I forgot to grab the chart. My December sampler of the month by Country Cottage Needleworks. So this is my finish and I put all of my samplers in the same finishing piece. So for the top, I just did a little co a green covered button with a little gingerbread man button on it. And then I did some twine and then some, uh, some picks from actually from Joanne Fabrics. I got the, the pick from, I took it apart and glued it together. And then I stitched the piece on 28 count, um, Monaco that I tea coffee dyed and I stitched it with all the call for a floss and then I put Chelsea's checks in the red and white on the back and then these are on magnets so I can switch them out so 
I've been waiting to do this video so I could put January on. So I finished January last year and I'll put it on. So super easy to switch them out. And there's my January. I love that. Super cute. So I'm excited to have the December done. I think I only have August, September, and October to do. And then I've done all the rest. So I wasn't really a fan of August because August has uh, like, it looks like beachy and I don't decorate beachy in my house. So I, I know I've seen people switch some of their, some of the stuff out for different stuff to make it not beachy. So I'm going to have to look up what other people have done and then decide what I'm going to do. So, alrighty. And I finished a bunch of ornaments. I think I finished 13 ornaments this year and I pretty much stitched them all from like the end of November and then the whole month of December. So I did a lot of stitching ornaments. Um, so I stitched, they're pretty much all stitching with the housewives, but I stitched the, I think this is called Freedom Delivery by Stitching with the Housewives. And it's stitched on 28 count black Jobelin with all the called for floss. And then I pretty much finished it the same way as Priscilla. So I mounted it on sticky board and then I cut a big piece of sticky board for the back with Priscilla's pretty plaids. And then I used this ribbon, I just hot glued it down. And then these, these are buttons from Hobby Lobby, the Santa and the tree. And then up here, I just cut a little ribbon, the same, that same ribbon up here, did a covered button with the plaid on it. And then hot glued, this is another button. It looks like a cookie, it's actually a cookie cutter star. Um, and it's from Hobby Lobby. So it's kind of a larger ornament, but I love it because this year I, in my dining room, I have a small Christmas tree that I deck, I put all red, white, and blue, just ball ornaments on it. And I want to do a, a few more patriotic ornaments to put on there. So that'll be like my small patriotic tree. And then I stitched, I don't know what this one's called, but this is also stitching with the housewives. And I finished it the exact same way as the other one. And these buttons are also from Hobby Lobby from the same star at the top there. But these were really, really quick and fun to do. And then I just hot glued the ribbon on the back. And then I did a whole bunch of the roundabouts. I loved, when they showed these, I, I fell in love with them. I love them so much. So this one is Santa's Tree Farm by Stitching with the Housewives. I stitched this on 28 count, it, I think it's, an, it's just called 28 count even weed blue and it's from Hobby Lobby because I just didn't want to do it on white. I don't know, I was kind of nervous about the, the white stitching showing up on there, but um, I really like how this turned out. And I finished it on the round ornament thing that Priscilla used for hers. I finished it the exact same way. So I cut, I use the, actually I cut my own circles. Um, I, I forgot to bring it down. I bought a, um, a, a circle cutting thing off of Amazon and it works amazingly. And the directions in, in the box really were not good. So I was able to, to YouTube a video on how to, how to use it. And it was like really, really easy to do. So in my opinion, if you can cut your own, I would do that instead of ordering the pre-cut circles from Fat Quarter Shop because those are expensive. And then if you can do it yourself, you're saving so much money. So I will, if I, if you, were, if anyone wants to know, I'll try to link it below the one that I bought off Amazon. But it was really, really easy to use, and I, I love, I loved it. So, and then you can cut like any range of sizes. I think the biggest was probably like six inches round, like diameter. So you can cut like any size, which was great, you know? So anyway, there's that one, super cute. And then this is Mrs. Claus's bakery, finished it the same way, same fabric too. 
And then I think this might be called Up on the Rooftop. I don't even remember, but same thing. Let's finish it the same way. I love these on my tree. They're so cute. And then I got the the one with the cardinals, I can't remember what it was called, and I didn't stitch that one, but I really liked the freebie, so I stitched the freebie that came with it, and I stitched it on 28 count black jobelin, and I used the call for colors, except for I had to change a little bit because I was stitching it on black, so I know I changed some of the snowman. I think his hat was supposed to be black, and I think I made it green with red in the middle. Um, I don't remember what else I changed, but... It turned out really cute, and I just did a green ribbon with a little tiny snowflake button in the middle and finished it on there again. So, really, really cute. And these, the circles were actually really easy to finish. I was shockingly surprised about that. And then I, I finished my heart in hand. It's pocket round December 25th. So there's that one. And I finished it in the tart tins that Hobby Lobby sells. Oops, sorry, my dogs are barking. So sorry. So, um, I actually used the Fat Quarter Shop sticky board circles for this because I had already bought them. And then I just finished it on the circle with a little bit of batting in it. And I just took ribbon and like glued it around the edge and then shoved it in there and glued it. So I thought that was kind of cute. Uh, just a cute little simple finish. And that's the tartan. And I know I stitched this with all the call for colors on 28 count tea coffee dyed Monica. So I love that little one. Okay. And then I, I thought I would show the other ornaments that I stitched, so the ones I just showed you, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then these are ones I showed in my last video, but I figured I would just show you all the ones I stitched in 2022. So that one's by heart and hand. And this one's by Stitching with the Housewives. And then two more stitching with the housewives. <laughs> I really like their ornaments, if you can't tell. And then this one. I want to stitch the rest of the ones that are in this series because they're adorable. So yeah, those are all the ornaments that I stitched this year. I don't have a lot of cross stitch ornaments, so I'm trying to build up my, my tree and my ornaments that I have. So. Um, this year, I'm really going to work on lots of ornaments, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, another thing, I'm not completely done with this, but I, I stitched the Farmhouse Christmas series by Little House Needleworks about, oh my gosh, like three years ago or something like that, and I, I started, I finished them, I started finishing them, so I, I sewed them, I sewed them, like I wanted to finish them the, exactly the way that they that Vana did for them. And so I sewed them the, into the pillow, but I never filled, the, filled them and finished them all the way and all that. So I started doing that a little bit before Christmas. So I grabbed this one and I, I filled it with the polyfill and I sewed the bottom and then I started sewing this trim around the edge and it's all hand sewn and very time consuming. I think this probably took me an hour and a half. So I, that was all, I, I only did this one. So I have to make the leftovers, this will go into a loop for, to hang on the tree. And then I have to just add the little rusty jingle bells on each corner and then a bow in the middle. So I have all the supplies, I've had it since these came out and I just need to make myself finish it. So I just thought I would show you how much I have done on this one. And this is the back. So I have that one, and then I have these other three. I only did four, so there's that one, and this one, and this one. So 
So eventually, I'm hoping I'll have those done and on my tree. We shall see. Honestly, like I love stitching and finishing is not my jam. So I need to like make get myself ready to do it. But I really like how that turned out so far. Um, okay, so I also finished my December month to month by Stitching with the Housewives. And I, I know if you guys have seen a lot of people doing them in the big white barn from Hobby Lobby. So that's how I'm doing mine too. But I didn't bring the barn in here because it's just so big. So I just will show you them finished. So this is my finish. It is stitched on 28 count white Jovelin. And it's with all the call for floss. And then I backed it with the, it's Chelsea's checks in red and white. So this just sits on a little easel inside of the barn. And then this is the top piece, um, the small. So um, I bought these tartans off Amazon, tartans off Amazon and um, finished it in there. So the nice thing is that it's just magneted. So I have the magnets in there and then there's a little washer and I can just plop it on there and switch it out for each one. This is the first one I've actually fully finished. I stitched um, August and September and I still have not finished them, but they're in my office completely done. Okay. And then some more finishes. So I finished, I don't even know. This is probably called Mr. and Mrs. Claus, one of the roundabouts by Stitching with the Housewives. So I finished that one and I just didn't have time to fully finish it before Christmas. And it's on 28 count black Jovelin with all the call for floor. Actually, I lied. I think I changed the color of the urn that they're standing in, but I don't remember what I used because it, I think it wasn't showing up or something. They might have used the different, they might have used black. I'm not, I'm not sure because they stitched theirs on white and I wanted mine on black. So I wanted two on black. So there's that one. And then I finished, okay, so I'm doing this hashtag. It's called goal to stitch 52 ornaments. So Raquel, the traveling Viking mama and I started this. And we want to stitch one ornament a week, so 52 ornaments in the year 2023. So, uh, so far I've kept up with it. <laughs> We're only on week two right now. Um, but I really would like to stick with it all year because I don't ever stitch Christmas unless, usually, unless it's, sometimes I'll stitch a little in jolly July, but I don't usually stitch it until like November, December. So I am going to try to keep up with this and it's kind of exciting because a lot of people are joining us so made by Michelle McGraw is joining us uh, red poppy crafts um, on Instagram and then uh, Danielle from love and stitching she so made by Michelle McGraw I love her floss tube and same with Danielle love and stitching they're awesome so if you haven't watched them you should go check them out but um, it's so nice that everyone's joining us and it's been a lot of fun so I finished, this was my first finish for the, for that hashtag gold to stitch 52 ornaments. So it is pocket round holiday home by heart and can. It's just tiny. I was like, I need a tiny ornament finish. <laughs> so there's that. Look how cute. I love it. And I changed all the colors, some of the colors, um, I know I did the roof in black coffee and the, above the door and then the reindeer is hickory sticks and I believe I posted my color changes on Instagram if you want to go check those out but this is stitched on 28 count tea coffee dye Monaco. My second ornament finish is from the heart and hand Christmas cheer book and I stitched this guy right here. I'm not putting the date I have the date on there and I didn't stitch the little stitches around the whole edge because I just didn't think it needed it. Um, and actually some of them are beads. The red, the red, all four beads are, those red beads are, those red dots are beads. 
So here's my finish on that. I just took it off my hoop. Um, I used all the call for colors and it's on 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco. Super cute. Love it. And then, um, Raquel, the traveling Viking mama, she's one of my good friends. She came to visit me in December, beginning of December. And we decided we wanted to start something together when she was here. So we both started the snowman pedestal by stitching with the housewives and I finished mine. It is stitched on 28 count black Jolin with all the call for floss. And it's so cute. I've been wanting to stitch this for so long. So, um, that was really nice. We, she came over, we stitched for a few hours and then we went to lunch and stitched some more at lunch. We went to Panera. Um, that was, it was just so much fun. It was so nice seeing her. She used to live five minutes away from me and then she moved away. So it was nice. And then I finished, um, my January month to month by stitching with the housewives. I'm trying to keep up with these, but it's hard because the big, these pieces are big, lots of stitching. So here's my small piece. These are both stitched on 28 count white jobelin. There's a small, all the call for floss. It's adorable. This took me no time at all to do. And then here's the large piece. Let's see if I can. Here's the large piece. It's adorable. I love it. I love the blues. So really, really, really cute. I honestly don't think I'm going to sign up for another series like this because it's very overwhelming and I feel a little bit stressed out because I feel like I have to stitch them and I don't want to feel like that. I want to be, feel like I can pick what I want to stitch and not like rushed. I don't have a lot of time to stitch because I have four kids, my life is crazy, I'm coaching, I'm, you know, teaching and so I don't want to feel like that. So once I'm done with this with this uh, auto ship. I'm not doing another one for a little while. I just can't, <laughs> I can't handle it. So, um, okay, those are all my finishes. Now on to whips. Um, I'm working on the January wreath swap for um, the home sign for, from Stitching with the Housewives. Um, so here's my start on that. It's so cute, I love it. And it's a lot of white, but I'm more than halfway done with the white. So this is on 28 count black jobelin. And I'm, I figure if I can at least get the January done, then I can leave it up all winter and not worry about it. And then next year, maybe I'll stitch some of the other like February and stuff like that. Maybe I'll stitch March this year. We'll see. But I still have September on there right now. So I need to, I need to get that off because it's not fall anymore. Um, and then I, oh, so I started a, new, a stitch along with um, Raquel, the traveling Viking mama, and Lisa from Red Poppy Crafts. We decided to start Bessie by Little House Needleworks. I'm stitching this on 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco with all the called for colors. And this is my little start. This is just one night of stitching. So not very much, but. It's really cute and I've been wanting to do that. So I was like, let's just start it. And then in December, I decided to participate in like 12 days of, I think it was called 12 days of Christmas stitching. So you start a new or a whip, a new start or a whip every day for 12 days until leading up to Christmas. And I stuck with it for a little while and then didn't <laughs> because I was just so busy. But um, I started Candy Cane Coop from Stitching with the Housewives. And this is my start. And it's on 28 count black jolin. So I got a decent amount actually. And it's really, really cute. I really enjoyed stitching this. And then I, one other night, I started the Sweet Shop from Little House Needleworks. And the 
didn't get very far. <laughs> this is all I got. And this is on 28 count tea coffee dyed Monaco. That's my little start. Just the tree. That's it. And then I, another night I started the pet store. So I really like the hometown holiday series and I just have never started them. So my mom got me these for Christmas like two years ago and I, she gave me all the thread and I never started them. So this is the pet shop and all I got done is a little tree. I'm using all the call for floss. I don't even know if that's a tree. Yeah, it is a tree. It's a tree. I wasn't sure if that was a tree or a post. <laughs> it's a tree over here. Okay. And then I had started this last year when it came out. This is Country Cottage Needleworks Greeting from the North, Greetings from the North Pole. So I started that last year and decided to pull it out for that stitching thing. So I did a little bit of the house. Sorry, my needles. I haven't I didn't realize I had a needle in here, but um, I had done the whole top border. So that was done. And then I just started the house over here. So that was all I did for that. That was like one night of stitching, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Not very long. So yeah, I really like this one. It's really cute. Oh, and this is, um, I think it's 28 count vintage country mocha, I believe. So something different. I really like that fabric. Okay. I think that is it for my whips. So for my haul, um, I got, so for Christmas, I asked my mom for a couple of things. Um, and so I haven't started any of them yet, but I plan to. So she got me. Little House Needleworks Snowy Petites. I thought these were adorable. I haven't done any of the Petite series yet. She got me Rudolph and Friends by Brenda Gervais. And Santa Stops Here, I'm obsessed. I love this chart so much. I've loved it since it came out at the retreat last year. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. So she got me those and she got me the little beads I don't, I don't know. I guess these, these go in the, um, in the wreath up here on the house. So she got me the little beads. I don't know if you can really see that, but, and then she got me these pins by just another button company. And I, I know that one of them goes up here. I don't know where, where the other ones go, but there's two snowflakes and a cardinal. Maybe they just came together. I'm not sure. I haven't really read the directions yet. Um, she also gave me this box and it has all the floss in it for all of them. So all the DMC weeks and classic color works. I was very excited about that. So I have everything I need to, and she even bobbinated them for me. It was so nice. So I have everything I need to start, um, the, at least I think, I'm not sure if it's all of them or just the with thy needle and thread ones. And then I got my February month to month from Fat Quarter Shop. And my March is already on the way and I haven't even started February. See, this is why I get stressed out. <laughs> and then today, actually, I just got this, just got this a minute ago. I got a Merry Mini Surprise by Prairie Schooler because everyone is stitching these and they are so adorable. And a lot of people are finishing them on the little sleds from Chantel's 141 and I really really want to get a couple of those because they're adorable on the sled and then I also had to get this this is farmhouse by stitching with the housewives I love this and I have a space like above my pantry in my kitchen that this would look really good at, on so we'll see but I love that okay I think that's it that's all I have for you I'm surprised this video was about 30 minutes so um I hope that everyone's doing well and um, if you don't follow me on Instagram you can find me at cow stitcher and um, I will
will hopefully be back. We'll see in the next two months. I'll definitely be back for another video. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>